I'm Marcos Almeida, a.k.a. Bochecha. And now I'm going to show you guys uh, one of my favorite techniques. I like to use a lot the bow and arrow choke because if you do the technique right, it's almost like impossible to the to the guy escape your opponent to escape. So look, when you get the back, guys, the first important thing here, you must get like the seat belt really tight, right? And your feet position, your hooks must get tight too. So you don't wanna like cross your feet or relax. So you gotta control. So keep your foot really tight. So once you have this. Seat belt, always the top hand must be on top. So look, you hold your own wrist and keep tight. But look at my bottom hand here. I start setting up the choke without even the guy seeing what I'm doing here, right? So then I straddle the lapel, right? To, uh, to help the other hand get my thumb in. So once you get your thumb in, now release, get the opposite lapel, right? Bring the guy to the side, okay? The same side of your shoulder, of your top hand. Then you're gonna straight the guy like a like a tie, right? So, to make him tap. A lot of times, the guy tap here on the first one. But let's say you still need a little bit more pressure, so you're gonna switch, right? Your shoulder position for your elbow position. So just like a little scoot with your elbow, so look. So now you're gonna get tight, right? Once you get like that, you're gonna bring the hand to you and push behind his, be his neck, his head with your shoulder. So, right? So, then you're gonna pick some pressure, right? So, a lot of times the guy tap here, if done, you're still gonna work. So, now you're going to the bone arrow. How? So, you're gonna bring the guy to you, right? To release the pressure of the bottom leg, right? So, now you're gonna take the bottom hook off and slide, right? Through the body. Once you take your leg out, step over, right? So now you have your bottom leg free. So you're gonna come up and end up like on an armbar position. So once you have like that, you still the choke tight all the time, right? So now hold his knee, right? Open your leg because you want you don't wanna sit on your own leg, so you're gonna get stuck, so you don't have your movement here with your leg. So that's why you open your leg and sit, so your hip on the mat. Now I have my leg to work, so a lot of times I like to trap his arm, then bring the knee and the neck, the choke to me like a bow and arrow, right? And to make his step. And I still have like options with my, with my leg, so I can like close the triangle, I can trap his arm, so I still have a lot of options to make him that. It's really hard to defend because you have total control of the guy because one hand is right on the, the neck choking the guy and the other hand you're gonna hold the guy's knee so he's not able to roll or to, to try escape of the movement. 